face. That's Welcome great. to another <laughs> session of Off Topic. Um, <laughs> we had a long week. We, I, did. we did have a long week. It but was long. It was. Right? It, but long, but it blurred. Like, it almost... My days just blurred together. Sometimes I was like, what's today? It was just weird. You know why? Because we had January and February. So we were like messed up with two months. Because <laughs> January went too fast and February it came did. too soon. It did. It did. It did. It really did. So anyway, uh, again, welcome to Off Topic. Because we will do this 24-7. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we had a few questions that we wanted to kind of bring up. However, I think that the big one... yeah. Is can you be friends with your ex? No. <laughs> Sorry. That Wait, was too really, fast. That was really Just like quick. in church. I was that talking was, a little bit too much. Big, I you was. Loud I was loud today. I was. You were. But anyway, going back. Yes. Um, let's yeah. stay on the topic for right now. So, but let's not talk about your current situation. Okay. Let's talk about past <laughs> situations. Could you be friends with your, your past I exes? think, personally... This is just my personal opinion, people. Here okay? we go. It does Don't not reflect those uh, that are in current Or in front times. of you. We may not have this. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I feel it. I know. I'm going to be like. <laughs> right. This is why we get along so well. <laughs> um, I think you can. Different times. Right? I think that there are certain ex-boyfriends, because I am heterosexual, Um. I think that I have a lot of ex friends in a sense. Like, I mean, with social media, we I guess you get to keep in contact with people and saying hello or liking a family pic. I don't call us friends. I just say that okay. we're I see your cordial, point. right? Yeah. You know, like, hey, great job. You know. So then, it's definition of friend. I think it's That's definition not somebody of like an, you go out and have dinner with. And I'm not gonna out, go out. We'll have, no, okay. we're not going out with the yeah, ex. No, no, none of us are. None. So we agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but like if you check up on me, um, you know, I don't know if you had a check fa- up on you. Like, like hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't I feel like that's dabbling in the past. Mm. You're trying to dibble dabble in the past and see where double it goes. Double dribble, like a double it's dribble like a, situation, like a travel, D- traveling. You're traveling call. back into we need a whistle that. Call. We need a whistle call. <laughs> I don't know. I think like, you know, I have an ex that I think was one of my three loves, right? Wasn't a great relationship, but you know, they say you fall in love three times, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think he, mm, maybe not. Maybe I'm lying. But listen, I mean, he was. <laughs> they say you fall in love three times? They say. I don't know. Who's they? I'll find out for you. <laughs> I didn't do my research on it. But anyway, um, that's what I heard around the block. But, <laughs> but I think that, you know, he found me on social media. And it was just when, like, did he m- find you? My space. Was he searching for you? Probably searching. I mean, it's a lot. This is a lot. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, so he found me. And it was, like, always, like, you know, mad love and respect, you know? Mm-hmm. However, if you really want to talk about our relationship, that was not healthy at all you know what i mean i was in college you know we reckless we're not gonna use any names no 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 just want to make some people might know what it is don't forget no names okay (laughs) but i mean if you dated me you probably looking like you know you know but anyway um he found me and you know we always kept tabs like hey how you doing you know he has kids i have kids he got married i got married you know what i mean like it's things that you can be respectful I think it's great that he lives in another state. I live in another state, and I don't go backwards. So you never feel like that little no, hell that no. little toma no. feel no. That li- no. <laughs> <laughs> if he was no. one of your three loves, you didn't feel that little me. no toma no. right here feeling. Okay. Okay. No, it's so empty. <laughs> <laughs> it is so empty. Like okay. no. Okay, no. That's cool. And you know what? I would probably, like, if I were to bump into someone, and maybe that's just me as a, as a person, you know, I just, I love everybody, and I think that's my Christian love, you know what I mean, for people, but I just feel like, hey, mm. your journey went that way, my journey's this way. Mm. I don't find, you know, and not only that, some people, they didn't blossom. <laughs> you stay stagnant. Low key, though. Do you feel good about yourself when that happens? You'd be like, yeah. I moved up, and you stay right there. <laughs> That's not good. We're going to pray about that. Yeah, we are going to pray about it. Because we should love Take a moment. Remember, we're supposed to look at each other. Like, we prefer to see people in love. 
Mm-hmm. Not like in love, like cariño love. Like we love them and want them to grow. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, That's what I do. That's why I say, like, Sometimes you look back, you'd be like, what was wrong with moi? You still live there? <laughs> you still on the block? You, you still, still dress like that? Still? Jenny ain't from the block. She ain't. Right. She no, no, no. She far. No. She but far like some people like. She's, she's grown. I'm proud of her. Like I'm saying, in this particular ex of mine, they blossom. They, they're they not, you know, they, they have a very prestige, you know, um, career. Prestige you know, they got Solid. their degree. You That's know. Good. Great for that them. That is good. I'm just not attracted. Yeah to that like no that was the past i don't go backwards you know what i mean i think if you're my ex you're my ex Mm. like would i don't get that oh my god i might be like i wonder what could have should have would have (laughs) nah i'm like thank god it could have not gone that way you know what i mean yeah yeah. so i think i i can be friends with an ex but once it's done it's done i'm not gonna go backwards Hmm. You know, and I think it's because a lot of my exes, no names, but <laughs> the fact that she said a lot of my exes, <laughs> I didn't have that many, but <laughs> you said a lot. Okay. I use the word a lot because, you know, some people, they felt like because I talked to them, we were in a relationship <laughs> and I'm like, we, we texted were- three nights in a row we that's have text girl. we have beeper oh, that's because you beat me hello up down you remember that yep. remember the little what was it zero seven seven three, three. four the, yeah and then you just flip it up it was hello how about baby remember that ain't nobody called me baby okay what? besos no. you didn't get the besos uh, i may be the besos even the people didn't know how to say spanish <laughs> They were not spanish they were not but they know how to do we besos. should think about those codes on the beepers those were fun you know what? Next, next. But now week. they have too many codes now. Like the one. No, because what we could mean? text it. Why you like we could text it? But we I'm could like, text a whole how do you story. Use all of that. How do you use all that? A page? Because no, we could we, text a whole. Do story. they even have pagers? Doctors. Oh, they're being paged. But yeah. are they being paged like with beepers or like with phones? I seen beepers, but it's the really? ones that you could write. Remember, you had a, a, your own personal oh, operator. Yeah, scrolled. Yeah, I had one. I scrolled. I was bougie. Oh, you were. You I had was. you had money. No, I didn't. I didn't. I just um. I, I don't know. How did I get that? I really I gotta talk to my parents because <laughs> I'm thinking about it. How did I afford that? I like you had money, but you better get that first message because once it scrolled, that was it. You, you were screwed. You had to call back your operator. Like, excuse me, can you what? please read this message back to me? <laughs> what they say. I mean, how about when they people used best. to do the collect calls? First of all, unless you're in prison, do not call no. me collect. Nah, you didn't have friends like this? Okay, this is when I wasn't bougie. And no they judgment. would call me, no judgment. <laughs> hey, this was what we had to do. It was because survival. Boundaries, never call me collect. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> unless you're in they prison. They would be like, they would call you and they'd be like, pick up, call me back, call me back. And hang up before the operator <laughs> finished this. What about that message we got when our money was running out on the payphone? Like, you oh. have da, 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 seconds, and you're trying to get everything out. Yo, you're trying to, like, take the lint <laughs> out of your pocket? so bad. Oh, my God. Communication was bad. Removed, they just removed the last phone booth in New York. It was recent, like, the last few months. First of all, who would want to touch that after the last, COVID? No, but, like, they removed it. Like, if it was, like, a constructional piece, they removed it from the Do street. Do you remember... I know. If anybody's old out there, thank you. I wouldn't you. say old. Okay. Just seasoned. Seasoned. Where's it? A lot of adobo. Listen. <laughs> See, and you shake it. <laughs> you say adobo. And I'm like, yeah, I'm about to say. Go ahead. Oh. Remember back in the days, because you're from New York, I'm from New York, so I'm representing the Bronx. She represents the I don't think we've ever told them where we're from. No, but we're going to get to it. Okay. Remember when it was cold and you would get into a phone booth that had the door? You know. I didn't really get into a lot of those because I was afraid of it not opening. That was my mind. <laughs> because it would go in. I was scared. In. Yes. And I was like, what if I get stuck? I, d- I never got in those. I used to leave it open. Because <laughs> I didn't want to get stuck. Don't laugh at me. That was a fear. Okay? I watched like, too many movies. That's why I, I don't watch like, scary movies. I don't watch yeah, scary movies. I was stupid. like, what if I get stuck? Nobody's around. I just, what if I run out of change and get stuck? I'm not. So I always left it open. So I could know. So, yeah, that was like to stay away from the cold. But a lot of them got stuck. Hence why then they started coming up with the plexiglass on the side. 
<laughs> and not the door anymore. And then they became not full body. They became half, half body. Mm-hmm. Then they were like, nah. That was, we should have paid attention to that. That was them slowly transitioning us away from the payphone. I agree. I agree. And then, yeah, yeah. You could have a payphone, you like hitting the thing in the middle. And oh. Just, nothing. I, there used to be a trick that I used to be able to get the quarters back out. You know, I mean, that was before. You know what? Let me just stop my criminal. That's lines. how you pay for that pager with the scroll. That's what it was. I was going to every phone going like this. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> Boo, I'm going to get that pager with the messages. Hey, 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 hey. Go. Okay. <laughs> that was so bad. But no, they did remove it. They did remove them. But it would yeah. be nice. Imagine if we had like a vintage room and we had like a pay phone. I think they have those, like where you could take pictures, like those pop-up little places that you could take pictures at. In the phone booth? In the phone booth, yeah. They're fake, though. I know. I like, like in Paris, they have that red phone booth. Graffiti type. Like pee with pee in no. the... No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh no. You don't want project though. vibes? You don't want project vibes? Don't I'm, hate on the projects. I'm from it. I'm you know what I mean? I'm them, but I left. Well, actually, I don't know. Star City was projects. Really? In Brooklyn, they're... They're still projects. If you go to a place and you walk into like a little mini lobby and you have all the little silver buttons, 7C, 7T, 7 and it goes all the way to 1820 something, you in the projects. projects. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, My it's thing. a nice project. This is, this so is noise. Nice. <laughs> Listen, I'm from Amsterdam Projects. I'm okay. watching this new program called New Amsterdam on Netflix. Yo, that it's not on Netflix, boo boo. It is on Netflix, it's mama. Okay, <laughs> cause I'm watching it to anyone. It really is on NBC. If anybody oh, wants no, to. Oh no no no! I'm watching season three of oh, New Amsterdam. Oh, but the on show New is <laughs> on NBC. If anybody want to watch it, it's a great it, show. Yeah, if you want to binge, it's right. on Netflix. Binging is allowed. Binging is noise. Thank God for Netflix. Yeah. But I mean, I Netflix was out in the nineties. Did you know that? But who had money but for they, Netflix? They were, you know, how Blockbuster used to like mail you. Blockbuster, the movie you know, they, in the little papelito, the, in the, the little the papelito, little, the little slide <laughs> that had the the paper inside, and you would read all the stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> I remember, I remember a Blockbuster tape said, "Be kind and rewind." Oh. <laughs> That and you were like, and then if you would get um, a charge, if you didn't rewind it, if somebody came back and said, it wasn't rewind. Well, a lot of them didn't, uh, unless you had money later on, mm-hmm. a lot of the VCRs didn't have the rewind capability. And I was doing that. Like, I was to, in the middle. Like hurt, a, hurt like, my finger. <laughs> like the cassettes. Do you remember when everybody found out that they can go on the cassettes and put the little um, paper in the little holes so you could re- re-record over that cassette? I didn't know that. It's the project vibes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the project vibes. Nothing. I'm just, just saying. You know. I just I learned some tricks. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I, I didn't know payphones. Yeah, the payphones were good. That was cute. Yeah. But the not beepers. Everybody has a cell phone. I liked I miss the beepers. I do. But then the next tale, bleep bleep came out after. Ah. The two way pagers were dope. <sighs> Those were okay. Okay, we totally went off topic. I Oh yeah, because it goes back to the exes. It's yeah. They're old school. <laughs> So I don't want to go back. <laughs> they're a reminiscent. They're part of vintage. our life. They're, they're vintage. Remember how you they said are, you they are vintage. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't think I've ever been a friend of my exes. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. I have. Um, like you can't say, "Oh yeah, me and him dated." I mean, but why do I want to admit that? Like, <laughs> I'm like sometimes I'm telling you, you look at them, you're like. Ew. Mm. Uh, what was I I'm so thinking? happy for her. What was I thinking? <laughs> You're uh, like, thank God you got married or yeah, you got with that no, one. No, I, I don't have any anim- animosity towards them. I'm just no. not. I don't see the need. Like, I, there's... <sighs> why? You know, I'm like, why? Now, so I have one that my husband fully knows about on my, that follows, follows me on social. Um, but I could go a year or two and not even know what's happening, what he's doing. Yeah, like no commenting come... on picture, nothing. Yeah, I'm not. Com- I'm not. You know what I mean? But um, if they come up, and I'm like, oh, that's and so, so great. I mean, Yay. If, if your ex is a is a baby daddy, that's different because you have to co-parent uh, and you have to be amicable. But that's different. Like Giselle and Tom yeah, Brady. I don't think they're friends. 
we're gonna I think that was a tongue in cheek comment. Oh, so happy for you and your fifth retirement, even though you didn't do it when we were together. And you had me taking care of all these kids while you want to play football. And I stopped being and me- an angel, a Victoria's <laughs> Secret angel for you. Because my body is not right. Wow, she found another angel. She sure she did. Did. Mm-hmm. She did. Yeah, I don't know. You think that was already in the like in the dust? What was? Like her with that guy? I don't know. But they're very close now. I, that's what I'm saying. No, we're not, we don't know how they live. No, I'm just gonna we, talk about it. We <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just talk about it we because we live behind closed doors. So we we don't know. We don't. I'm looking from the outside of the cameras, and I'm like, wow, that's a little bit like... Well, the fact that he didn't unfriend her when she cheated, that <coughs> speaks volumes. That's what I'm saying. I think they are friends. She was like, good luck on your retirement yeah, or, new life or the so you minute, can take care of these kids. Or the minute he would have unfriended her, it would have been on TMZ. <laughs> it would have been on World... You world he would have still been talking everything. about it. <laughs> So I'm like, you brought it up now. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about them. I really do try to not follow that. But you like that. You like that reality stuff. Yes. If you it's know why? my reality, I don't want to do it. You know why I like <laughs> this is because it makes me feel like they're real. She got to take I'm her not gonna, I'm not going to judge. No, I'm just saying, like, they're going you through You see stuff. these reality stars and... Like, I, real I things that I have. No, I thought you were going to say, it helps me forget my reality. But not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me feel like five minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, all but in their not, business. Not, I'm like, dang. Oh, those are real people. <laughs> no, they are not. Or they're people that do really... They do things to me that they wouldn't do if there was no camera in their face. So, going back to camera in the face and reality... I'm so, I don't, I don't like any of them. I do. Well, hold on. Do I? No, I used to. I was a Jersey Shore fan. I think like the first two back or three seasons. Is, yeah. And then I look back and go, wow. You know, being Christian, you change. I mean, how you look at things. You look at things with different lines. I'm like, wow. I mean, I'm Christian. I really felt I just bad just looking when she got punched in the face. Yeah. Just look at things. Anyway, moving on. So my thing about like reality TV, and I want to get your thoughts on this. I know, but we got to talk about it because okay. these are things that are happening in a Christian life just with no camera, right? So I just want to like get your input okay. in, in a Christian more view, right? And then I'm going to give you the on my new path view. How about that? <laughs> okay. There's nothing wrong with being on a new path. Hey, <clears throat> I'm trying, right? I, I try every day. It, it is a battle. Thank goodness people can't read my thoughts. <laughs> You know, we got to pray for your thoughts, yes. though, sometimes. We got to pray for your and thoughts. And my face. Pray mm-hmm. for my face. I'm oh, like, today my face was bad. But your anyway. mouth was bad today. I said, I, you like, yes. I said, <laughs> I okay. the Holy Spirit. I said, calm down. I said, let me hug her. My pastor said, <laughs> sometimes we waste our time with people that are not good for us. For the hope and praise that they're going to change. No. Don't waste your time. It was quiet, guys. It was super quiet. It's Jewish not my fault that nobody came to Twitter. <laughs> Everybody went to nine. No, it was there was quite a few people, but it was quiet when you said that. Well, I wanted to bring nobody some ruckus. <laughs> I said, geez. So I kind of said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was in a Baptist church. Right here. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. You know, when people see you, they see me. And I'm like, oh, my God. You know, so, so I was like, yes. I, I felt that message. I felt that message. Yeah, I mean, it, it hit hard today. It, it hit did. Hard. It was it on did. family. It was on marriage. Right. For single people and for married people. Um, building no one's a perfect. Oh. No one is perfect. No one. We have imperfect families. Mm-hmm. And that's what that was our message today. Yeah. So that's why I was like, hallelujah, when he was saying all the stuff. So going back to what I was going to ask you is, so Love and Hip Hop, <sighs> you used to watch it. Don't play yourself. I, I think I watched a season. I think I watched a season. In Atlanta? It was the one with Carly in it. Atlanta. Sure. Okay. I don't even remember. It's, it's, you know, you don't turn back, right? Right, right, right. So <laughs> there's some of the characters you might remember. Rashida and Kirk. I remember Rashida and Kirk. Okay. She is fire, by the way. I love her. Yes. And Jazzy went, went to her um, um, store. Store in, in the mall. Or like a lipstick that cost like a pair of shoes. But it was fine. It's fine. <laughs> Rashida, let's... For the people in the back. Let's, 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 let's make it, you know, you so know. that everybody. A little bit, just a little bit. 
Anyway, anyway moving on. Yep. So she <coughs> and her husband, they've been together for a really long time. You're going to make me get in trouble here. <laughs> I'm not. You set me up. I'm not. I'm just asking your Christian <sighs> faith answer. That's all I want. Okay. So Let me try. they've been married for 20-something years. I mean, they used to renew every year. There was one year that he cheated, and he had a baby out of wedlock. Just one? That we know he, he cheated more than once. Oh, he cheated more than once, but I'm talking this about this one, one particular had, one. Right. Right. And so the baby mama was on the show. Long story short, doesn't matter. Could you forgive? Because she forgave him. And they and they're I think the way the show shows them, and maybe in real life, but they look strong. Hmm. You know, maybe this made them and, and, and made them stronger. Who knows? However, could you and you're not looking at me, but it's I'm fine. Listening. I just could want to make sure my son who's sick in Rhode Island, by the way, guys. That's why. Could you <clears throat> do that? So there's a difference for me. <clears throat> Christian, like. I'm giving you my Christian answer. Okay. So I think that you can, we should always forgive. Okay. Um, I think that's the Christian way. But just because you forgive doesn't mean you have to stay attached. Good right? Answer. Good you answer. can forgive them and say, you know, because the thing is, is that from what I remember, we gotta get better. from what I remember, he did it a few times, mm-hmm. but he didn't have children that we know of. Again, it's kind of hard to gauge, right? Because the TV only shows us things that make you go, oh, what? Right, kay, right, right. Kay, kay, right. But mm-hmm. then they don't give you the boring stuff. But anyway, I think why? <laughs> for Because <laughs> of people like you. See what I'm oh, saying? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's more like, um, I'll forgive you for me. Mm. I'll forgive you because God doesn't want me to have hate in my life and I won't be able to progress. Okay. But could I be with you and After continue that? to be married to you? And, and then I have to invite this child baby? over and now I got to include them, right? Because now they're our family. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know if I'm not spiritually mature. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. And I'm still, honestly, before I started really digging deep in my faith, I would have said, heck no, I ain't forgiving you, Jack. You and her and the baby could bounce. For me now, I'm like, I'll forgive you. Because that's your problem, not mine. You ain't coming to my house. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can no longer live with you. I can no longer have a life with you. There was an episode where she's like, the baby was like trying to be potty trained and she was like, and the, the new baby, you know, the extra baby. Rashida was trying to potty train the baby? Yeah. And she was like, come here. Would you go get potty? Let's just put it out there where we love Rashida. Yes, we do. No, no, no. I'm saying in this episode, it's like, I'm saying this is not a judgment thing. This was like a, can you do what she did? Yeah. I would love to have Rashida on our show. What? She'll tell us, well, this is why I did that. Cause it'll give us a different perspective. Correct. Could you do that? (laughs) Why I sounded like I had a smoker's laugh. (laughs) That was horrible. Please edit that. No. <laughs> um, no. I'm going to straight up. No, I could forgive, but you're going to have to be that way. You're going to have to be that way. Yeah. Make your new family, build it, because that's what you slept in, so you have to sleep in your bed. I feel like you have to deal with your consequences. Mm. Okay? They're not... Some of your art choices, and I'm one to know that my choices have not been great. Mm-hmm. Going back to the exes. But, um, you know... I can't look at this child. Oh, no. With no animosity. It's not their fault at And it's all. not their fault. Nothing. But I'm looking at you gotta, your new right. mom. I mean, your mom. And I want to yeah. be non-Christian. But you know that that's mad common now. It's so common now. Because we have so many of those relationships. What are they called? Um, triples? Doubles? Oh, open? Open oh, yeah, that one, too. <laughs> I don't know what anything you is called. You said triples. I said, oh, bleh. It's true. It's like three oh. of them. Everybody's raising no, each other's kids. Right, sister right, wives right, thing. Right. You know what I mean? And we know someone that had a baby mm-hmm. with someone that already had 10. Mm-hmm. No names. None. <laughs> that's a lot. I'm blinking. <laughs> but but that's a, how is your baby going to be the, the one that, that he takes care of? Right. What makes you? That's my thing, though. But that's a, but that's culture. 
that I think that's the norm now mm. to just oh he married but he giving me a Louis or you know he's married but I don't need commitment. Can your uh, Louis pay your electric bill? It doesn't matter. The whole point is you should be able to pay your electric bill in general. But like all, you what did Pastor say today? Day. He said Mm-mm. women are like crock pots and men are like microwaves. Uh wow, that was you know what, Pastor? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. No names. Oh, no names. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Pastor, my pastor. <laughs> Go. <laughs> but think about that. And so guys are just out there, but they couldn't do that if we didn't allow them to do that. Yeah. A lot of women, not all, but a lot of women know this dude is this, this dude's this, this dude's yeah. that. I agree. You know what I mean? So I think mm. it's just the culture now. It's just the culture to be out there and show... And you could be sensual. You yeah. could you could be a beautiful person, mm-hmm. but I think people forget that the the beauty should come from the inside. Because mm-hmm. you could be beautiful on the outside. Yeah. And I remember when one of um, a milk crush friends, and I could say milk crush because that's my son. Mm-hmm. One of his friends was alive, and I said, "You guys chase the booty, and you guys chase all this beauty, but look at all the stuff that they're doing on the outside. They chase the booty, not the beauty." <laughs> But here's my thing, though. Here's my thing. When they do all these things to the outside, when they have children, that child is not going to come out looking anything like that. Mm-hmm. Their inside, their genes, their DNA is going to come out. And all children are beautiful. But that baby's not going to look like what? Nah. Let's, all of let's that. just be honest. You think when babies are born, born, they're cute? No. Nah. I'm, I, okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. No. Yes. High because. Five. They're not cute. No. They look like aliens. They're swollen. They, they red. have mucus, white fill. Oh, that what? <laughs> I want to. <laughs> and when they gave wipe my it kid, off before you give me the baby. <laughs> you, when they gave my kid, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> And then they I laid him on me. I was like, I don't want it. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. I would never do that. But it, no, they don't. How about <laughs> my son came out so fast, Christian, I can name him. And he came out so fast, they were like, plop. I said, Oh, they didn't even cut it yet. They didn't cut. No, it. they were like in like, but but my baby daddy's at the end like cutting. I'm like he's st- he's he's not even white. I did think oh was gonna pass out though when they did the C section. <laughs> you know they cut like I, and maybe I need to do more homework on this, but they cut like seven layers of skin before they pull the baby out of your stomach for C section. I had a C-section on my last son. But you know what they don't tell you is that when you have those really big lights, they're not the ring lights that we're used to. <laughs> when you have that big hospital light, they do put a gown here, but I can see the reflection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're cutting. I was so tired. Cutting. I didn't even I care. I, but I felt nothing. I just felt like a tug. I didn't. I and was always so looking, drugged He was up. like, oh, you good, Mom? <laughs> I was like, he's going to pass out. He's going to there you go. It Always thinking good. about everybody else. I know. I know. I felt nothing. I felt from the boobs down. I was good. So I felt nothing. I was like, oh, somebody's tugging on but me. But at least they it. cleaned him before they gave him to you. They have to because a lot more comes out when you have a season. Oh, trip. yeah? A lot more is, you know, blood and stuff. Is around. Sorry, guys. Uh, we went left. Yeah. Like always, but yeah, we yeah. did. So, yeah, with the exes, it's tough. Mm-hmm. Um I don't know if I could forgive. Now, I'm going to absolutely invite that child is brother or sister to my children. So we'll have a birthday party. I'll tell the mom to drop him or her off (laughs) and let them partake in festivities. She ain't coming in the house. Okay, okay, hold up. Because she knew. Okay, but how old old does the kid have to be so he could be dropped off by himself? Because she could be one that... He's still in diapers. I need to be Well, that there. he's not going to remember festivities, so he can stay with you this year. <laughs> and then when he gets to, like, five, you could drop him off. <laughs> no, if he's little, he's not going to remember. Okay. Right? Like, so you how, think you know how you we have, have those a- the big one-year-old parties? Why are you doing... This is your party. The baby's not going to remember. I do not remember my party at one years old. I don't. It's but we the, go in and we have these our big parents. elaborate... It's, it's, it's the us. parents' it's party. Us. I did the same This thing. is the one that we are showing off our cute kid. This is what we're doing. As long as they're not one day old, because they're right. not cute. It, I mean, day. you know. But I'm. this is one year old is like our party. Like, we're trying to show out to the people who doubted us. Okay, Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> For all the people. 
<laughs> my, only trying to feed my daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love that. I'm a big fan. Uh, by the way. I pee. I am. I pee. Just, yeah, you it know, was, it but. Was a lot. I heard about Biggie. I gotta talk to you about that. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, we'll talk. am I gonna be devastated? You know that he wanted to leave Bad Boy. That was rumors. What? Rumors had it. Yeah. Did you know that there's a uh, bodyguard? See, I do the celebrity gossip. So there's a um, bodyguard out there that used to be for Jay Z and Beyonce, and he's spilling some tea. Okay. Really. And he said that you know, Puffy. Was trying to like you know do yeah, some stuff. Oh. Nah, he um he was trying to get the rights to Biggie's um records and stuff mm. like that because Biggie wanted to be out. Hmm. I mean, I can see that. Did you see the Biggie video? I mean, the movie. Which one? <laughs> they had so many, and I'm looking at them like, no, you you gotta breathe with your tongue out sometimes. See your that. eye should not be looking straight all the time. You gotta <laughs> if you gonna be Biggie vid- movie. I need some representation. Mm-hmm. You know, no, I want to have it in the budget. Like a, you know, Bro, they didn't have it in the budget. No, but there's an eye contact that'll help the eye like fake it. Like it the, wasn't all the all the way. He had moments where it did go. The lazy eye did. But that's go. just wear sunglasses. That's he wore sunglasses a lot. He did the Versace's. I was guilty, and mm-hmm. I was poor and bought the Versace glasses. That's right. Represent. Was, yeah. Did you get the facade, the Versace ones, or you got Versace? No, I got Versace. I, you did. That's what I'm saying. I was poor, and I that's what whatever I'm money you, you I had. Well, whatever money I had, I made sure I still have them till this day. That was like my first purchase. <laughs> We're, a gonna real, fa- we're gonna fact check a real, her. A real we're glasses. gonna go find those They're glasses. Real. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna show them to you. But okay. uh, next podcast, broke and I just won't let them go. Uh, we're gonna bring them out and we're gonna put them right here on the table and we're gonna have a biggie day. Okay. If I, if somebody fact checks it and. They tell me that they're not Versace. I would be so upset. Yeah, because you're gonna be like, I could have thrown these out a I long could've. time ago. <laughs> not only that, I was like proud when I had those. I was like, yeah, but for no reason, because I didn't have a 401k and I didn't have savings. <laughs> I was trying to be like, I didn't have Kim, a though. college program. You know, what I was like, I was trying to be like little Kim because my name is Kim. So I was like, I was trying to be like. Mm, but you know, then she when she so went hot. crazy, yeah, she and, didn't go crazy. She was crazy. See, the she's thing from, is, she's from Brooklyn. Rumor has it. I don't know if this is true. Right. We're just telling you what the streets told us, okay? <laughs> the streets told us things were wild, okay? The streets, so, yes, her high school. Right. But then when I started to hear about her, I was like, I don't want to be her. I just want to rap like her. You know what I mean? Did you want to rap for real? I kind of wanted to like rap and sing at the same time. I was like one of those. You were like Foxy Brown? <sighs> She's another. Poor, that's another the girl. Street. That's too. That Damn, the bad. streets did talk about her too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Not good. Mm-mm. Yeah. Like, where is she? She was. Mm-hmm. Like, that's another thing. Kim, could you be friends? Like, Kim had to be friends with Faith. She After was he... not friends with Faith. <laughs> <laughs> they fought a lot. Now, his death, it was just a common thread. Of we're mourning the deaths of of our baby but daddy. But to this day, I know this was like he loved me more. No, he loved me more. No, he loved he did this more. He did. That's why I, I feel like another baby mama coming into my relationship, having a baby, is gonna be like, oh, he loved me. Heffa, sorry. That's not a curse word, is it? It's not. It's not. It's not. That's why I said it. I, no, Mm-mm. you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're not gonna try to one up me. Especially if I put years in it. Now let's 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 interject some Christian faith. Sorry, sorry, I went oh. left. Real no, quick. it's not bad. My emotion. <laughs> I feel that one hundred percent. That's great. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. when I look, I used to I used to worry about that all the time. She's gonna one up me mm. in outfit and personality. Like I was always looking like why are people trying to one up me. But now I don't care. Yeah. Now I'm like right here. Um, that doesn't mean I'm better than anybody else, but that for me, it's like, um, I am. my, <laughs> I'm just kidding. this is why we're I'm friends. just kidding. This is why we're sister friends. This is why we're sister friends. Okay. Uh, but I just feel like I'm in a different level of understanding. Mm-hmm. I'm more worried about disappointing him than disappointing you. Cause you had your lipstick looks better than mine or, you know, it's cute. It's, it's nice to want to feel comfortable in your skin. 
somebody asked me today, oh, you trying to be Wednesday? My first thought was, Ugh? and I just wanted to, and then I was like, nah, Wednesday's trying to be like me, just joking. But I was like, why did I even feel that? Like, why are you questioning me? You know, like, I don't need to do that no more. That was also a kid. <laughs> it was. But you Who could only knows Wednesday. You could, you could, a kid, they need it. Sometimes I want to shake them. I'm, Some I'm just saying, sometimes, kids. sometimes the Holy Spirit says shake them. And I feel like I might end up shaking their uh, mom or dad. <laughs> like, some of these kids are, the other day when I was, I was doing something and I had to bring some, some equipment to the office, mm -hmm. to, um, church office in the mm -hmm. back. And I was holding it like this. And there was a kid just sitting there. He was in a little group. And you know me, I'm like, hey, Papa, can you help me open this door? He was like, sure, let me use my hands for that. I said, the Lord, I said, help Nothing. me help him. <laughs> I blinked 50,000 times. <laughs> and nobody was there to help you. No one, blinks. no one. I looked around like nobody. <laughs> and I was like, this is somebody's kid. Ah, but I think they're just so used to doing that. These kids. And no one again. correcting them. Yeah. See, the thing is, I'm old school, and I'm used to the neighborhood raising your kid, mm -hmm. right? So if everyone knows you, they need to respect you. Yeah. And, they're gonna and if they don't respect you, you might have to be like, let me let me remind you who I am just for five seconds, because I'm going to call your mom. It was like a, wow. But I think a lot of them are like that now. They're just, yeah. and if you try to correct them, it's... How about the sassy ones? Those are the ones he I was really... sassy. That cute. Yeah, that's or disrespectful. Where's the line between sassy and disrespectful? Like sassy cute. Like oh, they got okay, a little. You're gonna have to give me a sassy cute because mm. when they're like three and they're like, it's like oh that's cute because you think you're gonna and get away go, with it. Add another ten years, it's not gonna be cute. It's anymore. not gonna be cute because yeah. I'm me and you're gonna go blow for blow. Mm -hmm. The thing is, see, I'm used to that. I'm used to that <laughs> environment. It's not the best environment, mm -hmm. but you know what? Now that I think about it, it was the best environment. I mean, some of it was a good environment. You're right. We got to pick. <laughs> hmm. I mean, that's why they created DCF. <laughs> because <laughs> some of the things that they did was unacceptable. I used to kneel on rice, and it wasn't no. cooked. No, that, it hurt. It hurt. But did you do it again? I mean, I did something else and it made it <laughs> I didn't do the same. Did you have the mentality? Now, let's be real. This, this is I before Christian. I didn't Christian. do this. I didn't do this. Before I'm Christian, before being a Christian, yeah. right? We're talking about past life. Yeah. And I'm still an imperfect Christian, by the way. Right, I'm, right, right. I'm, a, I'm a learning everyday Christian. I'm learning every day. But are we learning and applying? <laughs> I apply it when needed. <laughs> For those people out there trying to learn and trying to grow. No. Not when needed. <laughs> apply, apply, apply. It's no, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. It's, yes, it's, it's, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate that because I sometimes need it. I need to hear. I need to hear. <laughs> There's not even liquor in that cup. No. I don't even understand why you can't. No, but it's, anyway, it's fine. It's so moving on. Did you ever like go out someplace and then say your mom is blowing you up on your beeper or however she's communicating with you? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> And you're like, you know what? You know what? I'm already, I'm already out. I get there when I get because you had a curfew and you didn't get there. And you're like, you know what? It's gonna be the same pow pow if I go now or if I go later. So let me enjoy my time. Let me enjoy my freedom. So I did that once in my life. That's it. Let me tell you why. One, you know my mother. That's true. Yeah. But two, my dad was NYBD. <laughs> he could have put a whole pee pee out of her. There and was then, no saving her. There, there was, was no, no saving her. He could find me in any borough, okay? <laughs> and then on top of that, it was like, if you ever get caught out there doing something, don't tell them your dad's a police officer. I'm supposed to do that so I can get out. He goes, you're not embarrassing us. And then I'm like, <gasps> like what is the point of having Why? that? You're a cop. You went through so many years of school <laughs> and training. You should be able to help me. He's like, no. So I only did that once. What I did do, though, what did you do? And I got away with it for so many months until. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come clean. I skipped school. Oh my God. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but I was at hooky parties. 
I was throwing, I had a whole DJ set up in my house one time. Of course time. you do. You it also was, know famous DJs right now. No, this was in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, not here. Oh, wow. You were famous with DJs out there and here? I just said, wow. Hey, you got turntables? Yes. <laughs> Was, you need me to help you with that rack yeah, of was, <laughs> records? Got you. The crate of records? Yeah. I, yeah. So I did that for months until my mom went to open school night. And they were like, we don't even know Tanya. <laughs> Who her, is she? Her attendance shows. Because, you know, you had to do a little card. You had yes, to move the card. And they would put it like from in and out. My car out. didn't move. My card, it, the little slot <laughs> were right there. You were on a I leave thought, of absence. Oh, dang it. I was in some payphone stuck. I the door was stuck. <laughs> You were like, click, 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 click. The door's not opening. <laughs> Mom, that's where I was. No, but it was bad. And I, I did. Yeah. And this is before, like, DCF was strong. Right. And, oh, my gosh. I, you know, you go from classroom to classroom. I was literally almost peeing on myself. I threw up in my mouth. It was like a, <laughs> why am I here? I know what's going to happen. What? I'm not gonna say what happened. Why? Because we all want to know. Me. She goes, Daddy, people who are listening go, right now at home <laughs> on their way like to work, they're like, "What happened, Tanya? Tanya, tell us. We want to know." She thinks she. D- so here's the thing. Just because you don't she's remember, she's sick right now. She's sick right now. Just, she can't remember. I know she is. She is gonna listen. And she's gonna give you papa because you you're making me say it. So the thing is, is that just because you don't remember doesn't mean it didn't happen. So which party? Because <laughs> I'm like joking. Which party doesn't remember? The mom. She doesn't remember punching me in the face <laughs> in high school. <laughs> I think a lot of parents don't like to remember. She said, things. you what? <laughs> That's not true. And I was like, I got stuck in the phone book. No, I didn't say that. But it was like a. <laughs> you wish you were stuck it in was a phone like book. <laughs> this is the one time you wish that you were in the phone booth. I wish I would have closed the door. that door. <laughs> I wish I would have closed that door. It was it was mm-hmm. nutsos. Yeah. It was nutsos. Yeah, it was it was bad. She said she never did it. But again, <laughs> you gotta just go to because therapy. you don't remember it, you gotta go to therapy. I believe in therapy. I do too. I need to. I need it. Right now, my therapy is like, you know, I'm opening my Bible. I'm like talking. But I need somebody else to tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I could do different. Uh, so or what I've been doing right. Therapy is not going to tell you what you did wrong. And no. therapy is not going to tell you what you should do. What if it's like a hood therapist? <laughs> I think I am a hood therapist. <laughs> Just not licensed. <laughs> you tell what me your problems. Like a hood therapist. And they're like, bruh, <laughs> you should not have done that. <laughs> What were you thinking? He's going to be bruh, attorney. I mean, therapist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I wish I could find a therapist like that. Like, just keep it real. It's not even good. Being a life coach. A life coach could be a therapist. I'm a life coach now. You are? I am. Are you licensed? No, <laughs> I would like to get paid for it. That's what I'm saying. So you want to be the hood life coach? Let's I go get our license. Now, Let's go though. get our license. I just want to get paid for it. That's fine. I mean, the Lord pays me in so many blessings. And blessings. Amen. But, Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I can't eat blessings. <laughs> first of all, if no. anybody out there would like Tanya to be like their first patient, hit us up. We'll I look at the comments. I can't we'll... ones with blessings. You know. I mean, the <laughs> Lord can bless me too, by the way. Yo, we're going to keep it real. Um, For real. You it's know called what? keeping it real, therapy. At, it's not at law. We can't. No, not we're not at law. No, too many just therapy. Keeping it real therapy. Bet. Come to Kim and Tanya's <laughs> life coaching therapist. We, we listen. First of all, we do know how to listen. We do. We do. Right? We do. But we're going to keep it real with you. That's we the have, thing. We do have serious conversations with our life. Absolutely. And you cry. I cry a lot. And then I go, we're going to church tomorrow. <laughs> Thank God. Because <laughs> I don't know how to help you. <laughs> I need Jesus to talk to you because I can't. But that's not going to happen at our therapy session. No, it's not. No, we'll, we'll give you good guidance. You know what I think? I you know why we'll give you good guidance? somebody else when you're not emotionally invested. That is, wow, salute. <coughs> I, oh, shit. Wow. I got to get better at this. Yes. Okay? We First gotta... of all, what's this big behind wire doing here? I can't, like, lower it this way. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. This right. is, we're new to this, people. Yeah, guy, come on. This is kind of big. Anybody Shout out to our engineer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. I just, mm-hmm. I just, he didn't use not one sound effect, but it's fine. Everything's He's fine. He's going to add that later. Yeah, I like in the, but during the moment, because it's Yeah, because it funny. makes us funny. We yeah. feel it. 
You know, we were talking that. about something serious. We're talking about you, and he's not even paying attention. Mental health is serious, though. Mental oh, health is serious, mental health right? Is serious. So I think we need to start engaging in that, right? What do you mean by engage? Helping others see the light. No. What does that mean? Forty-five minutes we've been talking. Really. Wow. Well, I that, mean, the podcast normally fast. go for an hour, so that we're still good. Fast. We got like 15 more minutes. And you have major editing to do, but the first... Okay, we'll talk about that after. Yeah, we'll talk about like... Well, so when you say engage, I'm about acknowledging that okay. it exists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be real careful. I acknowledge that it exists. I acknowledge that it, is ex- it, it does exist. Uh-huh. Um, there are... Things I don't understand. And I need someone. That's when you're not spiritually capable. I'm not spiritually mature to understand. No, but I I know that sometimes, and not this is not for everyone, but I know that some mental breakdowns are because something's not wired the same way as someone that is wired. Like everyone's wired differently. So we'll all see clean things it up. differently. I like I cleaned it up. No, but that's what I'm saying. Cause so it's not there's no right or wrong wire. It's just a different wire. So I don't because I don't understand it, that doesn't mean I don't acknowledge it and respect it. Mm. It's just that I don't I don't understand it. Yeah. You know? Just mm-hmm. like I'm a, I'm gonna put it out there. Like homosexuality. I don't we have homosexual <laughs> friends. Yeah. We love them. I love them. And I'm it's like I'm going to love you. You're a good person. I know some people that are straight and are not good people. Yes. So if I know your heart posture, I'm going to love you. Who you sleep with is none of my business. That's between you and Papa Dion. Mm-hmm. However. That means Jesus, people. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, however, I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. It, it exists, mm-hmm. but I don't understand. That part of it. I don't understand it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, even have, I even have family members like that. You know that, but I'm mm-hmm. just like, I don't understand it. That doesn't mean I hate you. That no. doesn't mean, and even when we're straight people, you don't go to your friends and like, oh, I slept with homeboy, this one, this one, and you got to, okay, that's none of their business. Hey, don't tell me. Don't, it's none of your business. Don't, don't just, tell me. Just tell me you had a great date. Yeah, <laughs> or how do they treat you? <laughs> like, are they nice people? Or, you know. You know so. what, and that goes back to one, another thing I want to talk about, again, off topic, we always do this, but. <laughs> do people date with purpose and what is that purpose like that's a whole nother session that is but yeah. that's something we're gonna talk about maybe in the next session section right um session. session yes section session session session, session. session. Yes. okay anyway moving on there's no liquor in here i'm just having a really good time um but i think that no matter what you are mm-hmm. you're human mm-hmm. and and Whoever you're dating or who you're with, what is the purpose? And I think that today's um, message Mm -hmm. was that we need to have God first, Mm -hmm. right? But everyone's purpose is different. So Mm -hmm. purpose is relative. Mm -hmm. There are some people that their purpose is to make mad money in their life. There are some people that their purpose is to get married, have children, and then that facade of that image of being married and having children is they've now accomplished their purpose in life. They may not be happy in their marriage, but it's their purpose. They grew up with that. So we, we come from a generation. It's you go to school, you get a job. Mm-hmm. And then everything else. That's the purpose, yeah. right? But then there are children, there are people now go, I want to get a job that makes me happy. Mm. Or I want to do something that brings joy to my life or brings attention to my do life. Do jobs really make us happy? It totally depends. Yeah, this could be a job. This, this would make I us love happy. this. This, this right would make here, us happy. This makes me happy mm-hmm. every day. Every Sunday when we come in here, I'm like, let's do it. Right. And I love that we set the foundation of going to church first. Absolutely. We need right. the Jesus first to come talk to us and be you like, know, do it right. Still working on me. You know yeah. he's working on me. And sometimes I think he laughs at me a little I bit. I feel like he uses me sometimes too. He has to. <laughs> I'm the conduit. She's like, she ain't listening to me. She ain't listening, Tanya. Bruh. Bruh, I feel like Jesus is like, bruh, I know, Papa Dio, I got you. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I got her. I got her. I, I got her. I got there her. are times you, you kick game, like you go, so, and I go, oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. Right. So I think that balances That's, that's well. why we balance each other. Yeah. And I think everybody should have that one person 
you don't need a whole squad. Now, granted, I am super happy that I do have a lot of sisters of Christ. You know what I mean? But I think you, everyone should have that. We need to have them on this podcast next time. Yes. Like our core. Our core. Right. Um, so I do have my sisters in Christ and I think that I'm able to be vulnerable with them. Okay. Without judgment. Without judgment. Because I'm still everyone how to be vulnerable. You I've known you for a long time. I got better. You don't think I got better? Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. I think for me though, vulnerability um means openness. Means means I'm now giving that other person power. That's what I have to get over. See me? I'm like I don't care about the judgment me, part. <laughs> take me as I am. No, it is take me as I am. It's a beautiful song by the way. Mm-hmm, it is. Um but I would sing it, but my yeah, voice is not no, that great. He won't have that on his little list. We'll we'll hurry because he's given us you should have like some cue cards. Cause like we will ramble. Five more minutes. Well, <laughs> I, you can't see that far. <laughs> Y'all had LASIK surgery. Okay? <laughs> I'm like this. And let me say something. I be blurry sometimes. <laughs> Close? No, he's, he, he's blurry close far. Like sometimes I just, I think I, maybe I need to get lighting drops or something. Maybe it's the lighting or something. It's sometimes just it's just like, it's blurry a little bit, but it's not as like, blurry as it was. Far blurry? No. <laughs> maybe I need to go back. <laughs> Our That's engineer. my husband, people. That's my husband. <laughs> yes. It is. He's after a few um, drinks. So yeah, I am vul- vulnerability for me is power. So I'm, I need, I'm learning that. To release that. Release the power because really it's only him. Right. I don't, I'm not afraid of judgment because I do wear my emotions on my sleeve and I've, for the most part, I've said, these are my, um, this is my journey. I'm not hiding a lot of things Mm -hmm. that I've done. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to go around. I know the Bible says we, you know, we should confess to each other, but ugh, that's a lot. You know, that's I don't, what I said when he was like, <laughs> when we were in freedom, we, they were like, confess your sins to your people. Confess this week's sins. Cause <laughs> what I did yesterday. Yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to know. No, but it's, it's, but I think I'm harder on myself than anything else. I think, yeah. And I think, um, I think we all are mm-hmm. to a certain point. I think that, um, we just have to sometimes let people in to help guide us a little bit different. I'm learning that. Yeah, you are. You no, you have. I, I'm. I'm just joking around. Yeah. Even Pastor died. She was like, "You, you, you've gotten better in that." I'm like, yeah, "Thank you." I'm working it's, on it. At so least I'm little, not going backward. It's so like it's not even adobo salsa sazon like a packet. It's like a. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> it's like a. No, I would say I'm a packet. I'm not the whole full No, thing. no, 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 no. You're I, like that, um, I can't believe it's not butter spray. You're like the, pss, that's, that's what you're getting. Just spray. You think so? Don't pump too much. Wow, Don't pump so, too much because so you're not going to get nothing. reality is not real because <laughs> I thought I was way better at that. No, um, before you would like have like the top, I would be like, I'm... <laughs> Stop. Okay. It wouldn't even squirt. It would just be like, no. Stuck. Something's in front of oh the my nozzle. God. It's not coming out. And then you um, want to take it out. And that's then why we need hood therapy. You know what? That'll be our next um, people calling in probably. Yeah. And just like w- this that's get our. Me. Or just put the questions on our Instagram page. Right. Which is what? Or our YouTube. Which so is- our Instagram page yep. is off topic and that's spelled O-F-F-T-O-P-I-K underscore podcast mm-hmm. and then our I YouTube they put the questions on there and then yes. we choose that for next time and our YouTube they could put questions on there they could put comments and then it's at off topic podcast and be um, respectful too with your comments and criticism I mean you know what we already go through life wondering what You're we right. shoulda coulda woulda just you know, we're not for everybody. These, these and if you look at my trolls, Instagram, oh, I yes. put that. I am like, yes. I am not for everybody. These internet trolls are out of control. Yes. But then you put them in your face, they won't say a word. No. Because I could square up. They're I mean, no, I'm sorry. That's, that's not, not the Jesus that's right. Not, that's, that's not, not Jesus the right. uh-uh. squaring up. Uh-uh. I mean, you can defend yourself. Squaring up. You know, are we, <laughs> are we a Malcolm or are we a Martin? They both have the same, I, I want to say. Who are you? And who? I've become a Martin with, Martin Malcolm, King. with, with Malcolm situations. Oh, that's good. You think that's what you are? You that's- don't think so? 
asking what you thought you were. That's what I said. <laughs> but your question made me doubt myself. You're like, oh, so you, bruh, you My think bad. you know My- what you, you <laughs> think that? <laughs> your face, your face. My bad. Your face. My bad. Oh my God. If what you would you see us? I think you are a strong leader like Malcolm X. I think, like, he. Yeah, but me, he was an eye for an eye. Martin was turning the other cheek. That's what I meant. Okay. I still think you're Malcolm X. <laughs> with you think I'm an eye with a me? Martin um, pursuit. Like, y- you will go the Martin way. A chill. To... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> That's what I said. I feel like I'm Martin. But see, you're saying the opposite. I feel like I'm Martin for the most part. But then there are moments where, you know, Malcolm just needs to, I need to just, that strength, that core That's what I'm saying. I think you have that first, to be honest. you see me opposite. I see you opposite. I see you like, this is what it is, but then I'm going to do it Martin's way, but it's really Malcolm X that I, I, that's, that's my, Mm, my way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I respect. I thought it was opposite, but you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. She's gonna be like when we get off air. <laughs> you really think like that? You, think I'm you really think? Okay. That? What do you? How do you see yourself? <laughs> I see myself more Martin. <laughs> Cause you know why? I. Can't <laughs> get. So okay. Real quick story, and then we're gonna almost be out, right? Oh, the engineer's red and yeah. cracking up. <laughs> he knows where this is going. He knows you're not a Martin. That's why. <laughs> he knows me. All right, all right. guys. All right, right. All right. Uh, and I want we'll you guys to put... This, and then we'll go back to the X's and we'll close it yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. And agreement. Okay. Go ahead. So, and you can put this in the comments. So, <clears throat> when I met Tanya, I had met her already. We, we were getting close and stuff like that. And then Angel, her younger son, was playing an AAU tournament against um, LeBron James's D you know, Wade, son, D like Wade, like, LeBron um, James' son, everything like that at that time. Bad vibes. Um, the other one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it was at Disney's. Yeah. It was at Disney. Can we say Disney. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think Angel was like nine. They were like nine, ten years old mm-hmm. at this time, right? You were playing, but at another court. Right. We had just finished playing, so we came to support. That's how family rock. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you're in AAU, that's how oh, we, we rock. like new family at this point. Right. Right. We just we we like just we like distant cousins. Right. 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 We just like <laughs> we weren't we hanging. Yet. Right. Right. We just hanging. You know, like oh, he's playing. You want to come? You know, <laughs> I'm in the same facility. We're gonna go. Right. So we go, and I'm sitting next to her, and she's yelling at the ref like, "It doesn't matter who's on the court. Just play. You know, mm-hmm. call call the foul." Yeah. Good. The kids were intimidated. They were right. playing against NBA stars. Right. Children. LeBron James's wife, uh, his mom too, What's and his mom. But this is the it wife first. Mom. It was his mom. Well, the 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 wife wasn't as vocal. The the it first one, the she mom. got up. The mom. Oh, was it? It was the mom. Yeah, it was Howard. I don't know who. It doesn't matter. You know what? Who cares? It was some, some celebrity mom. Yeah. One of the kids' moms. Mm-hmm. She get up. She was like, she got up and turned around and looked at us and said, "Obviously, it bothers you who's on the court." Tanya got up, and all I remember is me getting up and yelling at this lady, like, come outside. Come outside. I got you, boo. Like, I'm going to wreck you real quick, all right, for this AAU game that's only nine and ten, I mean, nine and ten-year-olds, okay? Disclaimer, I would not do that right now. <clears throat> I probably would. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So don't talk, about, don't talk to my nephew, my future nephew, because at this time, remember, we're distant cousins, we're, Yeah, right? we're cousins at this time. She elevated after that day. Yeah. She done graduated to sister girl. She's sister friend now. That was funny. And then when we sat down, I said, I don't know what happened. All I remember is that the ref said something, you said something, she said something, and I lost it. So I'm asking questions now just in case I need to know what we're going to do afterwards. Liability. Right, because I told this lady, meet me outside. (laughs) So and this was before the cash me outside little girl came out. Right. I, I already said it. I should have I should have put it. She made mad money off of that. I'm telling you. I don't know why. <sighs> she didn't matter. even say catch. She did it. Cash me outside. She what said cash me outside. I said this girl, meet me outside. I said, you know what? I it did different. Very, you were like verbally. I was you know, abusive. You communicated. Betty. I communicated well though. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. You were very I articulated yes, my words yes, properly yes, so did. that homegirl can like make sure she catch me outside. Understand the goal. After that game, after the after the game, I was like ready. I put my hair up. You know, let's calm her down now. Cause she right, was, right. she was ready. I was ready. She and was. then she was like, Kim, no, no. 
<laughs> but you're, but that's opposite from your Martin mentality. That was that, that was, was a Malcolm. That was, that was Malcolm that because was Malcolm I was for the philosophy. people. I was for the people. <laughs> I wanted equal rights. <laughs> I wanted equal rights because I felt that if we're playing against celebrities, we should be treated equally. Equally, I don't think we are. Even till this day, the referees did not do justice for our children. They didn't. And it was a close game. It was. It Our was, boys killed it, though. They did. They did. Though so we proud. lost, it don't matter. Don't matter. I wanted to go outside and put my hands. See? But that's see, a Malcolm. That, but that was a Malcolm. But see, yeah. the thing is, I was more Martin because I was for the people. So you're saying I turned you into that? You were Martin. What you're saying, that's what, that's what I think you're saying. I turned you mm-hmm. in that moment into mm-hmm. a Malcolm. But that's what I'm saying. I think we all have it. Wrap it up. Yep. All right. So I think we all have it. I think we all have a little bit of Malcolm and a little bit of Martin. I think when it comes to our children, I think, no, we need it just in general. Cause in my, in my relationships with friends, I have, yeah, both. you're Malcolm X. I am. Straight up. <laughs> Let it be your husband. <laughs> no, I think even with your husband, if I see your eyes, like start blinking a certain way, I'm like, I've gotten so much better with him though. My that mind is great. really gets to an ugly And that'll be the next segment, but. I, I know, think and that, then I um, go, you know what, but at the end of the day, God first. Yeah, because we got to talk about, like, Oof. boundaries. Oof. <gasps> yeah. And you're going to start that community group, so maybe I you am. can bring some of that. What's it called? Wednesday. Boundaries and goodbyes? What are we doing? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. Hands bye. up. I don't and don't feel that. guilty about it. <laughs> Isn't it. So it's not boundaries and buys, about goodbyes it's, and It's goodbyes and... Breakups. and and um, that should be a name boundaries movie. or something like that. We should have a movie, yeah, like a Delma Louise like, for like like deuces. A, I'm helping you say goodbye. I don't. Oh, I'm trying to say yeah. goodbye, and I'm saying, and, and I'm trying to say, say goodbye for good, good. I'm trying to say goodbye to my vulnerability. I'm trying to say goodbye to like the exes like I had in the past. <laughs> See how I wrap it up? See how I bring that back? This ain't no city of Sodom and Gomorrah. I ain't looking back. I'm gonna call you salt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fine. Anyway, you. okay. <laughs> well, I'm Tanya. I'm Kim. <laughs> signing off. off. We're signing it off. <laughs> Have a good time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.